Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, do I have something special. Oh, I'm pumped. This is my Spyderco Drunken. And up until now, this used to be, up until right this second, this was the most expensive Spyderco I've ever had on the channel. I think. I think? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's here. It's here. What is it? You'll have to wait and find out. Let's do, let's do this. Let's open the damn thing up. Please. That's right. You've seen the title. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what this is. And I, I may be a bumbling fool for, whoop, for the rest of this video. I picked this up. Where did I pick this up from? Future me, where did I buy this from? I don't remember. You know, I don't remember. I've been chasing it for a long time. It is uh, hard to come by. I've handled a few of them. I've handled a few of them in my day, in my time. It shows and stuff, and the secondary market on these is absurd. But luckily... Spyderco's bringing it back. So this is brand new. Nothing left in there. Goodbye. Solid. This is brand new. I bought my drunken second hand. The prices on all of these knives has just skyrocketed the past year, honestly. The past 6 to 12 months. So it's getting harder and harder to justify them, honestly. But this was like the last one. This was like the last piece to my Spyderco puzzle, if you will. And... It comes in a nice pouch. The, the higher-end Spydercos tend to come in these really nice pouches. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Very nice pouch. Paperwork, a sticker. Beat up. The paperwork's a little beat up. We'll keep the paperwork out in case I need to reference it for something. In the bubble wrap from the factory. American Edges. Is that where I got this? I don't remember. But this... <laughs> this is my Pison. This is mine. This is mine. Whoever, uh, whoever... Fight me. You can't have it back. It's mine now. Sorry. You can't have it back. This is the Peter Rosenti Pison. A full titanium integral made by Spyderco in Taichung, Taiwan. Uh, and it is... I, uh, I've lusted and lusted and wanted and dreamed, you know... But again, secondary market on these are is just absurd. So real quick, Spyderco pair of three size comparison for you. Uh, a little longer than a pair of three, but it carriers it carriers it carries better, right? It's not quite as thick and chunky and kind of awkward in the pocket. I've also got the tactile rockwall ratch here, tactile knife co rockwall. So <clears throat> not a small knife, but not absurdly large. Um, it, I always thought it was a really big knife the fur up until the first time i ever handled one and then i was like oh not that bad at all it's very reasonable it's not immense it's not massive beautiful so it's a full titanium integral frame lock from spider co got the little dingleberry protecting it from the clip i'm gonna have to repla replace that clip that's gonna have to come that's gonna have to come off hello sir it's kind of crusty and it makes me wonder, have these just been sitting in a warehouse, Spider Co? Where have these been? Why are you just now like releasing more of them? Cause it's not like there's a date of birth, you know what I mean, on Spider Co's. There just isn't. So this could have just been in a Taiwanese warehouse for the past five years. I don't know. But it is beautiful. I hate that they give us this stupid, stamped, ugly ass clip on such a beautiful, well made knife, but whatever. Peter Rosenti, let's flick it over. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that profile. It's a... Okay. I take back everything I said about the size. It's a big knife. It's not... <laughs> it's not small, dude. Beautiful. S90V. Got that crazy stone wash, that polished stone wash finish that Spyderco does so well. Spyderco logo there. CPM S90V. Not sure how well these are heat treated, but I'm assuming well enough maybe i'll send it to brian transparent knives he can run it for me run it for me but again full titanium integral big crazy jimping back here really nice jimping here kind of a subtly crowned area of the spine right there as well beautiful lockup solid so ergo's in hand it's a skinny handle 
It's a really skinny handle, but ch you can choke way back on it. Choke back, back here, feels great. No hot spots, no pinch points. You can kind of nestle up right here. We don't have a finger choil, a decent sharpening choil, but no finger choil. And your thumb does, the jimping feels really nice, locked in, secure. You can kind of inch out here to the middle of the blade, but it's a little awkward. Give it the old pinch grip. Oh yeah. It's a little bizarre, the pinch grip. You kind of got to finger the hole. You know what I mean? To make the, pin the pinch grip work. But it feels good. It feels nice. God, it's gorgeous. Oh, no internal milling because it isn't integral. But it's really not that... Oh, that heavy. Literally one screw holding the whole thing together. Uh, just the pivot screw. That's it. It's simple. It's clean. It kind of looks like a banana. But I've dreamed about this for so long. So action. Reverse flick. The old Spidey flick's money, dude. It's money. It feels great. Lockup is... So Ooh. Yeah. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. A little bit of uh, lock stick, but nothing crazy. Thumb flick. Feels great. Honestly, it feels a lot better than the older models that I've handled in the past. At, like shows and meets and stuff like that. This feels a lot snappier, detents a lot better. The rest of them had real mushy, you know what I mean? Real mushy kind of detents going on. Oh, yeah, a little bit of lock stick. I'll, I'm, a little cleanup job will work that out. Not really too worried. Very dry, out of the box. And considering this came from the other side of the planet, you know, probably needs a clean it and a little bit of lube. But God bless, what a great looking thing. Cannot wait to get a different clip on there beautiful you guys can hear the lock stick do you hear that kind of a little bit of a pop but action is money is it running on bearings is it mom future me is this running on bearings those look like bearings is it mom dad i don't have a flashlight yes i do Those are bearings, right? Future me, help. I'm pretty sure it's bearings. No wonder the action's so good. Oh, that thing just glides shut. It's a little bit of a double clutch right there. But once you get past that, that's for your own safety. Because that's a big blade and it's very sharp. Kind of hits your thumb right there. And then you can let it drop. Oh. Oh, I can't believe I have this. <laughs> I can't believe I have this. I'm so excited. Oh, I've been dying, 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 dying to get a Paizan on the channel. And it is finally here. Oh, like literally the only thing that can make this better for me is if this is a hollow grind. You know, maybe, maybe I'm feeling a little frisky. Maybe I'm feeling a little wild. Okay, don't judge me. Action's great. Acoustics. You can hear that. Lock stick. Action is so smooth. It is kind of bizarre having such a big blade on such a tiny little handle, but man, it works. The ergos are great, but I cannot wait to cut something with this. A factory fresh Pison NS90V. Let me get the phone book out real quick. Let's see how this factory edge is. I bet you she's all right, dude. You know? You know? It's incredible. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it is just a nice, tall, flat grind. Comes about 50% of the way up the height of the blade. And it's really thick blade stock. But man, that factory edge is, is scary. So scary. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Can you, can you tell? I'm so happy. I have a Paisan, man. It only took three and a half years, but God bless, you know? I'm pumped about it. So thank you for everyone that watches the videos and makes stuff like this possible. You're making dreams come true here. Thank you so much. It, it's so awesome that I get to even touch one of these, honestly, because I've only, I've, I've touched two in my life and I knew I needed it, but you know, I didn't think it was ever going to happen, but thank you Spiderco for bringing this back. This is not the full review, just the unboxing first impressions. There will be plenty of pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram. So be sure to follow us both there. Links down below. Um, that is it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Leave a, leave a down. Thumbs down. Who cares? Who cares? Do whatever you want. As long as you're, uh, you're doing something. As long as you're doing something, I'm happy as a clam. 
Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And be sure to subscribe and become a channel member and become a Patreon member. And, you know, try it out. Might feel nice. But that is it for me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. I'm going to climb into bed with this and uh, whisper sweet nothings into its ear. Bye-bye now. <laughs>